it is surgery day and I am on my way to the hospital. She went back at seven o'clock, right around like 3.30. He was done with everything. o'clock and I am in a lot of pain. I think that all the medication that they gave me in the OR has completely worn off by now. So I don't have any more of that good stuff in my system. And so most of my pain is in my abdomen. I'm very swollen. I don't know if you can tell, but I probably look a little bigger than I did when I went into surgery. I'm swollen like everywhere. Like my fingers are swollen. It, not just like where the incisions were or anything like that. Everything's swollen. So we've been like getting up and just pretty much very, very slowly going to the bathroom, um, using my walker and just kind of munching on little things all day because I'm also like really hungry and uh, very thirsty. So that's where we're at right now, just trying to manage the pain and get through it. <laughs> following day. So it is Friday and we're officially on day three and I am in so much pain. Most of the pain that I'm having today is right along the incision. Um, for some reason it hurts really bad in this one particular spot. Um, I keep thinking that I've like ripped it open or something but my husband says it's not. Um, I did take a shower last night. Well, kind of. I didn't wash my hair or anything, but we got to like spray the warm water on me. Warning, this part is kind of gross, I guess. So here's an up close shot. If you would like to see, it's kind of gross. This is my drain and that is where it comes out of my body. So right now, Christopher is going downstairs to get us some continental breakfast. My friend is gonna come and stay here while my husband has to go to a doctor appointment for himself. So, that's what's going on today. Later. So this is our last night at the hotel. It's Friday night and I'm still in quite a bit of pain, but I feel like I'm moving a little bit faster than I was yesterday. Hey guys, it is Saturday, day four, and I'm still in pain. We're headed home to our house. I get to see the boys. I've missed them so much. And that way we can be at our own house and hopefully it will be more comfortable. We've been home for about 24 hours. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, today is Sunday the 16th. It's just me and my husband and the kids now. We took grandma to the airport. She was so, so much help when I was in surgery and when we were at the hotel. I was able to take a shower last night. My husband helped me wash my hair because um, it was kind of it's kind of hard to reach up real high right now. So far, my doctor has like texted me and called me several different times. I'm so glad that we're home now because it's a little bit more comfortable than the hotel. Getting in and out of the hotel bed was excruciating. So if you have the option to have a recliner in your room at the hotel or to sleep somewhere where there is a recliner, that is ideal. It's it seems to be so much better than trying to get in and out of a bed. I'm gonna see if I can go help make dinner. It'll be like the first thing I've done since I've gotten home. Monday, 
June 17th, maybe. I am just going to give you guys a quick update, show you guys what I look like right now, I guess. A few inches later. Here's what I look like today. I'm standing up a little bit straighter, I feel like, but maybe not. I'm going to go ahead and take it off so you can see what my tummy looks like right now. So this is what my tummy looks like right now. You can kind of see the edge of my scar on this side where the tube is coming out. Um, my new belly button is underneath there. Um, obviously I'm still hunched over and swollen and everything, but it's there. That's my tummy. I can't wait to see what it looks like when I'm all healed up and I can stand up straight. But for right now, it looks pretty good. It looks very uh, flat and it is extremely tight. Extremely tight. But yeah, that's how I'm looking, day six. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.